Wagwan 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 YouTube family, my name is Eric. This is the Eric Evolving channel. If you're not yet subscribed, you know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe right now. Uh, today I'm going to bring you guys a different type of video. Um, so I often get a lot of emails and you know, DMs and all that stuff and you know people just sharing their experience about living here in Florida or if they have questions or whatnot. Um, so yeah, you, know, you could definitely send me an email, ericevolvin at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram at ericevolving. So yeah, my story, my experience of being here in Florida so far has been uh, positive. Um, but this brother sent me an email kind of explaining his time here and the difficulties he had here. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you, some of you are moving here and you have questions about different things and and may think that maybe everything is just all sunshines here and all beautiful um you know it's not always like that for everyone right so gonna share the story with you uh the person who sent me the email gave me the okay to, to share it with you what i've done though i've just changed up uh quite a bit of the information just so that yeah it doesn't kind of lead back to him or whatnot so um so here we go um, so the email that he sent me reads, uh, starts off by, the, by saying this, uh, what's going on, sir? Uh, my name is Richard. Again, name has been changed. I used to live in St. Pete and I also, and also Pinellas Park. I saw your video on YouTube and decided to respond. As far as, as far as living in Tampa Bay, I believe that there's a dark side that you may not be aware of. Uh, from what I've seen in your video, it seems like you have a place to live and good job that makes good money. I'll pause there. Um, I do, yes, I do definitely have a place to live. Definitely, yeah. Thankfully, I I have a pretty good job, but yeah, still have to be putting in hard work every day to kind of make sure I keep a roof over my head. Um, but let's go on. So I would like to tell you what it is like to live on the streets of St. Pete. First of all, uh, let me tell you how I ended up on the streets. Uh, I moved to St. Pete in 2015. I'm originally from Indiana. Uh, my parents moved there and invited me to come live with them. Um, I came down because I was living in my car. I was about 22 years old. I was very grateful of them for opening up their doors and helping me out. But it was very difficult for me to find a job. I have a GED, so my options were very limited. So I went to work at a temp agency. The work was very hard, and I almost passed out from heat exhaustion. Um, so I got a job at a retail store, then a sandwich shop, then a gym. I said some of that information I kind of cut out because I didn't want it to be more specific, right? Um, I was unable to make enough money to support myself and move out of my parents' place. So out of frustration, uh, my father eventually kicked me out uh, because he felt that he had given me adequate time to accomplish the goal of finding a place. So I moved into a homeless shelter downtown St. Pete. That shelter uh, is called uh, St. Vincent de Paul. Once I arrived there, I immediately began looking for more work. So I ended up working at a restaurant, it, and it just goes to say that the jobs there uh, are a lot more difficult to work for, for whatever reason. They're very, very serious about minimum wage jobs, and it's hard to keep a job there. So I ended up quitting and walked across the Gandhi Bridge, and yeah, that is a crazy walk to walk across that bridge, by the way. Um, and I went to Tampa, got myself into the Salvation Army. But work was, but work was not the only reason why I left St. Pete and decided to go to Tampa. There were some people at the shelter who were making my life difficult at the shelter by threatening me with violence, chasing me, attacking me in the street. So with no other option, I left the shelter. I ended up leaving the Salvation Army in Tampa because they wanted 
to uh, wanted me to apply for food stamps in Section 8, even though it was against what I believe in or believed. Uh, I do not believe in welfare and I refuse to get on welfare. So they kicked me out. I walked the streets for a few days and found another shelter called DACO. DACO. They eventually gave me a bed to sleep, sleep in and food to eat. My time there was limited. Everyone's my time there was limited as everyone's is because they expect you to get back on your feet. <clears throat> At this point, like, you know, you're still going through a hard time there. And now he goes on to say, now I recalled uh, seeing a trucking company that was hiring back when I lived in Indiana. I did some research and found out that I could, that I could sleep in the truck but I would need to get my commercial driver's license, a CDL. So I called up my biological mother in Michigan and she sent me a plane ticket to come stay with her and study for my CDL so that I would not have to be on the streets. So in July, 2017, I got on a plane, landed in Michigan, I got my CDL and I now make over $60,000 a year. I have an apartment downtown, two cars, and I'm debt free and now I'm working on purchasing a home that is a wonderful wonderful redemption story I like I can't tell you how much like that that this like really touched me when I was reading it um, looking back on my experience in Florida I have to tell you those were the worst years of my life and I do not wish that kind of hardship on even my worst enemy and that's the Florida I know. So, yeah, and yeah, I responded to him. We, we had a little bit of a back and forth. I asked him if it was okay to share the story, you know, just omitting some information and kind of changing some, some dates and places or whatnot. So, yeah, it just goes to show you, man, like different people have different experiences out here. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, this gentleman now is like, he's like, yo, he'll never move to Florida. He'll never come back here for nothing because, yeah, you know, he just had a really bad experience here. Yeah, so for you guys who are thinking of moving or whatnot, yeah, you know, just kind of weigh all the options. Don't just look at me and think like, yo, it's all sweet out there. It's, everything is good. Everyone, Everyone's experience will be different, right? Um, but as I said, I, I was so happy and so touched by by this story by this email that um i felt like i wanted to share it with you guys so hopefully you guys yeah take something from it yeah one of the things i took from it was that you know hard work always always gets you back on the right track if you know what i mean if you are determined if you are ambitious yeah you put in the work yeah things will work out you know what i mean and education having a skill having a certification um, something that always helps a lot. Um, you know, rather than working, you know, let's say like all these little places that he was working, retail, restaurants, all the stuff that he was doing that he just couldn't get by on. Um, yeah, you know, he, he got a skill, he got a certificate, a, a CDL license, and now he's doing much better. So, uh, as I said, just wanted to share that story with you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you need to reach out to me, email is uh, ericevolving at gmail on IG at ericevolving. And if you have sent me an email or any communication and I have not gotten back to you, I apologize. I have a lot of stuff going on. So sometimes I read something and then forget to respond or something like that. So forgive me all right but thank you so much for watching the video guys please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video keep evolving